in large part, it's kind of the, the tangled web of applications and processes in the middle and back office. Uh, I think most banks have been focused on digitization in the front office, but yet the, the place that customer experience can be impacted either most positively or negatively is actually in the middle and back office with those processes. A bank cannot let the bench alone, right? So uh, you take, there are financial institutions with thousands of branches that are there, they are, they are released for maybe 10 or 15 years, and they need to find a way to use it correctly. Now you say, why don't they close it? Because the branch is still a very important uh, uh, component of their delivery channel. It's natural for some institutions going on a few hundred years old to have some inertia in place. I think uh, generational leadership, I think until you have a shift at the top that's fundamentally willing to take on more risk, a true risk in how they conduct business, you won't see seismic change in banks. This new technology has the power to corrupt the current business. So if there is no uh, commitment of the company to destroy the old business, then they cannot apply uh, this new technology into their business. So this is the biggest obstacle for them, I think. Operationally, I think that you know, innovation can be scary. Right? I'm trying to disrupt myself at what I already do. I'm making investments that are counter to the current businesses I'm already in. How do I, how do I really balance those two things becomes an interesting question. And I think that the banks that have been um, really the leaders in this area have recognized that if they don't disrupt themselves, someone else is going to disrupt them. And that, that, that fear really helps companies to do things. The biggest and simplest answer as a vendor is it's our fault. You know, the third party vendor community that provides technology to the banks and credit unions have not done a great job of enabling innovation. And in fact, some could say that even the larger ones have squelched innovation, even though they try to be innovative. So I think that the technology vendors need to get out of the way and create technologies that truly enable success. I don't know if there's a lot of obstacles other than just, you know, getting the investment, right? And I, but that is a huge obstacle within a bank today, uh, is how do you quantify that value? I think a lot of institutions look at, okay, we had online banking, then we added mobile banking, now we've got all this internet of things going, how many devices are we going to have to connect and serve? And that's, that's another cost to the FI. And, but one thing that we've found is really there is quantifiable value in engaging with digital users.